I've been eager to share with you some recent findings that are not my own, but that I think you might be curious about, and that I think most people hopefully will be curious about as well. It's not greasing the groove specifically, but it provides a at least partial mechanistic understanding of how particular types of physical movement with this high motor neuron and attentional engagement can generate high levels of alertness that can be devoted to, as you say, writing the great American novel, perhaps. Uh, there's a guy at the University of Pittsburgh named Peter Strick, who for the first time started to map the connections between the adrenals and the brain. And he was able to do this using some really cool technology. The basic takeaway is the following. Uh, adrenaline released from the adrenals, uh, as uh, some of the listeners may know, doesn't cross the blood-brain barrier, but it turns out it binds to receptors on the vagus, which then stimulates noradrenaline in the brain and provides this increase in alertness. So then the question is, how do you get your adrenals engaged? You know, we can sit here and we can, we can do a staring competition, which I'll lose um, uh, for certain. But, you know, there are all sorts of psychological tools. We get, you know, caffeine, et cetera. There, there are all sorts of ways to get cold water. But it turns out what Peter found was that there are particular locations in the motor cortex that send a two, uh, basically a two synapse connection, disynaptic connection directly to the adrenals. And the areas of motor cortex that engage the adrenals cause them to release adrenaline. Mm -hmm. But just by sheer movement of particular muscle groups are the core, as you were talking about before, like bracing the core, causes the release of adrenaline, which then via the vagus uh, causes the uh, brainstem area uh, to release noradrenaline, wake up the whole brain essentially, increase learning and performance in anything. and as well, the stronger and stronger activation of the motor neurons, deliberate activation of the motor neurons seems to engage adrenaline release. Now, to me, this was a wonderful way of um, trying to persuade people that they have internal control over this thing that we call motivation, that movement <laughs> itself can increase adrenaline, which can increase the tendency to want to move. As long as, again, you don't yeah. want to have too much adrenaline either. 